Today's video is brought to you by Gray Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic. And it is a new month, so that means that the grind to Mythic begins again. Why do I keep doing this to myself? And because someone is a doofus and forgot to hit the record button, I have to record this intro again. And I also lost one of the coolest games I think I've ever played. And so I'm sorry guys, this video will be coming out a little bit late today, but it's really exciting stuff. So last month I ranked up with standard decks with Winona, with the Gruul Magda deck and Mono White were the main decks that I ranked up with. I'm gonna put a little bit more focus into Historic because that's just what's interesting to me right now. We'll still be playing some standard stuff, but I'm really excited to try out this new deck, which has been sweet so far. Jeskai Dragon with a 69% win rate, 118 wins and 51 losses. So unfortunately, Aetherhub doesn't give credit to whoever built this deck, and it also takes a compilation of similar decks. And so I did make a couple of small changes to this one, but I don't know who actually made the original version, but this is sweet. So some of it isn't anything new. Velomachus Lorehold is a sweet card to be bringing out early if you can, and then you just do crazy busted awesome stuff. And guess what? We're doing a bunch of crazy busted awesome stuff. When Velomachus attacks and we get a free spell with five mana or less, that means it can find and cast a time warp and take an extra turn after this one and do it all over again with our Villamachus. And then if we hit a Mizzix Mastery, we also get to cast it again, finding our Time Warp in the graveyard and do it all over again. We can also find things like Sweltering Suns, which can clear the board, Prismari Command, and of course, of like Brainstorm, Faithless Looting, just some good stuff there as well. And the way that we're getting to Villamachus in this one is with Indomitable Creativity, which for four mana, we can destroy target artifact or creature and basically look through our deck and find Villamachus and put it onto the battlefield. This is great because we have treasures a lot more often than we actually have creatures with this deck, especially when we don't want to be having to cast a bunch of creature token cards. So with Prismari Command to create a treasure and Magma Opus to create a treasure, we got some stuff there. We also get Dwarven Mind to be able to play out and get us our Red Dwarf on turn four to then use create indomitable creativity brainstorm and faithless looting definitely help us make sure that that combo actually happens so that's the main game plan for villamachus lorehold but then we also have this awesome game plan of just mizix mastery casting magma opuses from our graveyard or overloading and casting everything from a graveyard getting extra time warps extra turns getting more magma opuses from the graveyard and prismari commands and everything and this just becomes absolutely insane and then for our main interaction spell we have memory lapse for the most part we are just a combo deck trying to go off with tons of value and kind of take these massive turns or extra turns memory lapse just helps us in the early game and is a way to kind of counter whatever else they're trying to counter our stuff with so that's basically the deck there is a sideboard in this version i'll keep it there for you guys in my deck list but for the most part we're just playing best of one magic because that's what i like but before we dive into the gameplay a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button so the month of may was huge for me and thank you guys so much for 2600 subscribers and nine subscribers per thousand unsubscribed views that's definitely up from normal but i also had 337 thousand views from people who aren't subscribed and so if you guys could hit the subscribe button i definitely appreciate it let's go and dive into the gameplay and see how it does for us here we go all right up against nimata gg we have two velomachuses in hand memory lance is nice but this is definitely a mulligan for us Oy, not very good either we have the mulligan again yikes Okay, keep this one. This is actually not bad. We're going to drop probably Memory Lapse. Removal and stuff up against the Gotha deck. Probably something something crazy. I'm going to try to hold off on our Dwarven Mine. Should we, though? What if we don't ever hit anything? That could be really awkward. We do have multiples for a reason. I'll lead off with a Triome. If I don't hit a land here, I might go for Dwarven Mine. Because we have to hit a mountain. We can't hit Sulphur Falls or any of other stuff. Yeah, so now now I think we go for... Ugh. Because Mario Command can let us uh, destroy some of their stuff. We have to... This, this is a hard deck to beat. Sweltering Suns becomes pretty good, though. All right, let, let's lead off with Mountain. We're going we're gonna to try going for the Dwarven Mine. Temio. Yep. We have the main thing that's important here, and that is the ability to kill a Kinnon and um, Emery. Emery and Kinnon are the main things that we want to have die. Painful death. All right, so we have the way to get to Dwarven Mine, but I also want to be able to do something this turn. So we're leading off with Island. They are they're tapped right now, so we can get rid of the Chromatic Sphere. 
And let's get some card draw going. We already have the Dwarven Mine for the Indomitable Creativity, so we don't need the treasure. Um, oops, sorry. Straight Artifact, and then let's draw some cards, discard cards. So, yeah, draw cards, discard cards. I could go for the Mind Stone instead and just get rid of the Ramp. But I think Chromatic Sphere, it is part of the combo. It's an annoying card, enough, annoying enough. Let's get rid of... Faith is looting, I can flash back. Sultering Suns is pretty good. Oh man. Zmari Command lets us destroy more artifacts. And it does kill a Kinnon and other stuff. Let's go ahead and get rid of Sweltering Suns. Sure. We're kind of going in for just. Disrupt with Prismari Command for the next turn. Time Warp, and then hopefully find the pieces we need to combo off and go off again. All right, digging for Emery. That's good that they're still missing it. That means it's not in hand. Great stuff. Arn. That's bad. That means our treasures are offline, so we're not ramping with those anytime soon. Paradox Engine. Well, we can Paradox uh, Prismari Command and kill this, though. That is very, very good. Okay, they do have the land to get to it. Music's Mastery. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Uh, let's go ahead and... We want to hold up Prismari Command, actually, right? So, yeah. Put this tapped. Pass the turn. Yeah, they play out Paradox Engine. Extra land. Do they have a one drop artifact or something here? All right, so now we, that's actually really nice. They got, they use the Tamiyo as well. Does it go down to two here? Oh, four. I could hit that just to make sure they don't get to bring back the Paradox Engine right away. They'll probably have another chance with Karn here. And they combo off this turn. But let's actually hold off because Karn can probably go grab another one from the sideboard. If we can force them to take an extra turn here, that's good for us. All right, now, now we'll kill stuff. All right, so destroy artifact. Get a treasure. Can't actually use it. I think we keep looking for the indomitable creativity. So we draw cards, destroy paradox engine. The Prismari command is good for that. Okay, we get rid of time warp because now we have Mizzix's mastery to get that. We have indomitable creativity. I think it's a time warp. Hmm. Don't want to get rid of a music mastery. Sure. Oh man. <laughs> All right. They still have the ability to uh, bring out a cannon. All right. So Karn can go grab another paradox engine. They tick up. Interesting. All right. So. Dwarven Mine. Creativity. X1. This can also destroy their artifacts and they can go grab other things. I can destroy their Kinnon and they can look through until they find something else, but they have a high chance of finding like Tangled Forhedron or Llanowar else. If they find an Emery, then we're in trouble. That's an interesting option. If they find an Emery, we can also potentially just find Sweltering Suns. Or something else, Prismari Command to kill it with Villamachus. So let's actually go X2. So destroy ours and destroy their Kinnon. I This is a test. So we're going to see if this actually ends up working for us. Oh, they get a Mind Stone out of it. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that's that's great. All right, so attack in at... Um, I think it's Tamio over Karn. Have a lot of good stuff in the graveyard. Time warp, hopefully. There it is. There's the time warp. Okay. Time warp. Take an extra turn. Get to kill the Karn as well. Sweet. Sweet stuff. And then we still have Mizzix Mastery to do it again. Yeah, so like we're set up. Whoo, man. <laughs> Dang, I like this deck so much. That is good stuff. Alright, up against Dextre. All we have is memory lapse. Is that good enough? Sure. 
Uh, we we won last time mulliganing down to five, so maybe being greedy with the mulligan is better, but we have a few turns to try to find more stuff, and ramping up to a time warp isn't the worst play. Pass the turn. We have memory lapse or magma opus here. We're just going to go for the magma opus to the graveyard. Indominal creativity. Not enough red mana yet, so we have to find the red manas. Pass the turn. They can also counter this. So the ways that they can counter this is by sacrificing the artifact that we target. So we, we have to be able to target our artifact. Um, so we need to find a land still. They can also uh, just counter the, the card itself and we don't get to do anything else. So yeah. And it's not worthwhile for us to target more than one thing because we can't get other things out unless we're getting rid of one other things. This does destroy artifacts and creatures, which we saw last game is really sweet sometimes. All right, what's he doing there, opponent? This might be a mirror match. I could see that happening. If they have a memory lapse here, we're in a little bit of trouble. So X1, targeting this, auto pay. Try to go for Villamachus. Get the combo going. Memory lapse, yep. All right, goes back on top of our deck. That's fine, as long as they don't go off here. So try it again. They have a way to kill Velamachus that's also really bad. If they have Prismari Command to kill the treasure. All right, so they make a treasure token. So it doesn't matter. They still have a target. So even if we sacrifice here, it doesn't actually matter here. This is the other downside of this deck is I feel like this deck, it combos against itself. <laughs> it, 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 we have all the answers to deal with them, but they had all the answers to deal with us first. And so now we're in a little bit of trouble. If they have the creativity, we're just tapped out here. So awkward. So awkward. Should have maybe gone for the time warp instead. All right, they're taking an extra turn. Try to get the combo. Also just putting into the graveyard. Seems legit. Yeah, if they just get to an overloaded Mizzix Mastery. Good stuff. There's another one? Goodness. Well, past the turn. Can't do much of anything. <laughs> Magma Opus to the Graveyard. So, Mizzix Mastery allows him to cast the Magma Opus. Uh, this one we will might memory lapse. There we go. See how it feels, fool. They have... How many treasures did they use there? Yeah, it's enough that it makes it harder. Um, we, we need to cycle this right now and find another land. Getting up to our uh, time warps or whatever else can definitely help us here. <laughs> okay, we do have Magma Opus. Um, yeah, okay. Does that make a treasure for us? I don't think it does. It just makes a, a creature, though, which we can use for Indomitable Creativity. Indomitable. Cycles their Saltering Suns. It's the land. Oh, they have a memory lapse. All right, well, we still have to go off with Mizzix Mastery and try, try to find something to do here. So Magma Opus, they can counter this one, remember you lapse it, and that means we're not drawing lands. All right, Brainstorm, that's at least something better. They shock that. I mean, this is, is kind of their turn to go off. We're seeing the downside of this deck. Not having lands is a big, big bad thing. All right, so four damage there. Submit one. Tap down Triome and sure, Treasure. Um, submit. Get to draw two cards. Please let it be a land. Oh my heavens. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, 16 cards deep and no lands. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh-huh. I don't like that. <laughs> You know, big surprise. <laughs> I think that's dumb. All right, so we have Indominal Creativity to play out. Velomachus, they are desperately hoping for this to be a time warp, I think. Brainstorm. All right. So we have a turn to start doing stuffs.
Music's mastery. So that means we can sweltering suns in response to this. I can also just go with Domino Creativity, hit our Villa Marcus. Um Man, how have we not found a land yet? This is so ridiculous. Killing their Vorhold, uh, Lore Hold, is that better? So we swing in if they block. The, the thing is we have to decide now. Because if they don't block, then we're just screwed. So yeah, let's just let's just go for Velomachus. We can't we can't afford for them to not block. Creativity. We will we'll go for the trade-off. Absolutely. Yep, time warp. Next turn. That goes with the Mizzix Mastery. We trade off. Brainstorm. How in the world have we not found lands? This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? I can go for another time warp, and then we have tons in hand, and then we just hopefully can go off with stuff. Like, but we have to hit lands this to work at all. All right, well, they're tapped out right now, so we're going to go for as much as we can. So time warp again. Pass it, target ourselves. So ridiculous. Takes an extra turn. Oh, we found a land. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right. In this game. <laughs> uh, all right, so we have memory lapse. So now, now we need to start thinking. Now, now we'll start thinking. Oh, let's take an next turn. We still have a chance to get to like an overloaded Mizzix Mastery at some point, or it's, oh my goodness, I, I I don't understand. This keeps happening, so we can fix our hand like crazy. What am I looking for? If I find a Mizzix Mastery, it's kind of good. Let's just take an extra turn. These are all in the graveyard. It means we're not hitting them. We have one more, I think, to hit with the Villamachus. We finally found a land. All right, so <laughs> Brainstorm. Uh, actually, do we fade this loot before Brainstorm? Finding more memory lapses could be nice. All right, so Lore Holds on top. We have We do have white mana, and that gives us enough land to cast these. With the Sulphur Falls. So now I think I actually might just hold off. We don't need to Faithless Loot these away. So let's just attack him with our 1 1. I could Faithless Looting, grab one of these right now. Um, Discard what? We, we're close to getting up to Magma Opus, is what I'm thinking. Let's just pass the turn. We have Brainstorm available for, to us and a Memory Lapse. Okay, so Fail Passage. How many Villamachuses have they found? They're just hard casting one. All right, well, Memory Lapse should just win us the game now. That's a very big deal. Um, Now let's... Brainstorm. Okay, so let's put this back, this back. Um, let's draw the land. And we'll get rid of the other Villamachus with this. Uh, yes, pass to my turn. We do so want, we want to untap land if possible, so we can go into Magma Opus, but hard casting lore hold, Mizzix Mastery, or another, the last time warp. Wow, okay, that is... That's actually ridiculously amazing. All right, Mizzix Mastery that we don't quite have the ability to overload just yet. Um, oh, we have lethal. Yeah, that's game. Sweet, okay. That's my command. It's a treasure, yeah. So 
Target them, create a treasure. We have the ability to overload the Mizzix Mastery then. Boom, bam, done. Wow. That was a game. That was a game and a half. Ooh. We got lucky there. I mean, I had skills. Yeah. <laughs> All right, up against Donator. And unfortunately, Faithless Looting here, we're probably going to be discarding our Villamachus, which is not exactly what we want to be doing. We want the Magma Opus to be able to get into the graveyard. So this is just like an awkward hand all around. We can get rid of one Velomachus. I we, we can technically get rid of two, and it would be okay, because we can go dig for the other ones. But that just limits our ability to go off. So Faithless Looting, let's do do it. One lore hold. Mountain. Let's get rid of the Dwarven Mine and hopefully find another one. We have the ability to create treasures, so we already have the ability to get there with uh, Magma Opus. I, I like having one Vilmachus in hand for the potentiality of it being awesome. Okay, we haven't showed any blue mana yet. Up against a Lurus deck. Uh, do I want to try for Brainstorm? Is Brainstorm worthwhile at all? Or just go for Magma Opus? I think I think we're just Magma Opusing. So pass the turn. No shocking ourselves just yet. Hush. Alright, now we show blue mana. It's fine. Pass to my turn. Sweltering Suns would be sweet. That's sweet. A pay two. I could just Mizzix Master and go for Magma Opus. Kill this. Draw some cards. Like, that's not a bad play. But it's not quite Villamachus, is it? Oh, or are we only brainstorming or do we want a Faithless Looting? That's the question right now. Um, Let's pass the turn. I really like our hand. The only thing we can get that's better is the, the next land. And Brainstorm should get us there. Or Spirit Dancer. Um, it would actually be re really sweet to be able to go off with Indomitable Creativity and kill their stuff here. Yeah, honestly, that'd be really nice. We had more land, so maybe, maybe we do go for that. We have Music's Master to kill some things here, too. All right, so let's go Magma Opus on top, and I guess we get more lands out with Fable Passage, so Mountain on top. We'll draw the Magma Opus. Actually, we already have one in the graveyard. Let's just get Lance to hand. That'll that'll go away with the uh, Villamachus here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so. I can hold off and try to go with Indomitable Creativity on the next turn and be able to kill the Spirit Dancer. Because they could just make this massive on the next turn. Let's let's do it this way. Um, grab the island. We already have three red. Yeah, okay. Creativity. Yeah, let's just go for Velomachus. This deck has a lot of options. I like that. I'm more sweet. That's what we were hoping for. Dude, this deck is so good. Sweltering Suns. All right, we have Mizzix Mastery to re a recast Time Warp. Swing in again. All right, so Prismari Command is our only option. So two damage. Let's get to... I'd like to get to a chance to overload Mizzix Mastery at some point. So hit the Hushbringer. See, actually, it could um, I could just target face. That gets them down to where if we just go off with our extra turn spells, let's let's go face. Deal the damage down to nine. Music's mastery. One more extra turn spell, and then we're, like, good. 
And the magma opus is so tempting, though. Maybe take an extra turn. Another Prismari command means we can Sweltering Suns and kill this as well. Last Mountain. Philomachus. All right, yeah, another Time Warp, and that's game. Sweet. All right, boom, bam, done. And turn, we swing in again. Game is over. Do this deck. This deck is really, really sweet. The Bellamachus is busted. Do you think it's going to be banned at some point? Um, I think so. Honestly, yeah, probably. <laughs> I think with how busted that is, uh, not yet, though. I, th I think that it's going to take, if it if it stays the same power level for another, like, two months, then probably it'll get banned. If people find really good ways to deal with it, then probably not. All right, up against reds, and... A little bit awkward. We ha do have the Dwarven Mine combo here, and then we have Time Warp, but like zero of our ways to dig for things, um, which means I'm going to keep it because because I suck at this game, as everyone keeps telling me. And so, you know, there you go. Llanowar Elves uh, up against. Okay, boom, bam. See, guys, I'm good at this game. <laughs> Got him. We just sweltering the suns for a million or kill everything. All right, so do I want to hold up memory lamps or just have a memory lapse or just let them kind of build up a big board and then sweltering suns? I think we just go for the sweltering suns. But it's tapped, pass the turn. Sweltering suns into memory lapse on the next turn into time warp. Hopefully we can find something good at that point. Taking a bunch. Target. Oh no. Oh, it didn't give me anything in counters. Okay, so it dealt three damage to us and then that. Okay. That's that's better. <laughs> Sultering Suns. Tarkus Command. What does this do again? So, opponents can't gain life this turn. Deals three damage to each opponent. I think that's the one they did. Land card. I, I wish I would stay up there a little bit longer so I know what's happening, you know? Because I don't know what's happening. Can't actually block this now, can we? Yeah, good game. Fast enough, that's for dang sure. Tarkus Command was dang good there. Yep. All right, well, the win streak, three, three and one. Sounds about right. I think that that's a harder matchup for us in general. Up against Weasley Orr, and uh, we have Magma Opus. That's all we got. Um, man, we keep having these kinds of hands that are, are really funky. I, I think I mulligan that one away. Uh, keep this, drop the time warp. Actually, is it the Mizzix Mastery we drop instead? Because time warp actually does the thing. Mizzix Mastery lets us recast a Sweltering Suns or something like that, which could be really good. But I'd rather hold on to the thing that gives us an extra turn to survive. And that is just more of a combo piece. If we had a Magma Opus in hand, I would definitely keep it. Faithless Looting. Not an untapped land, so we're brainstorming on the next turn. Pass the turn. Chart of course. Emergent Ultimatum's right. This is Mizzix Mastery's Emergent Ultimatum shenanigans. Which is really good. We need to find a memory lapse really bad now. Sweltering Suns would have been good in other matchups, but not in this one. What is this? Bladewing of the Risen. Enters the battlefield. You may return target dragon permanent from graveyard to the battlefield. So if they have multiple dragons, cool. So they probably just have like some reanimation and Mizzix Mastery. A okay, Faithless Looting again. With that much card draw, they should have the pieces they need to do go off, right? You would think so. That's, oh my gosh, only lands. That's all that we can draw for the next turn? I mean, that's game. Wow, okay, well, um, oop. <laughs> gosh dang it, that's really dumb. Sure, we'll leave them there. 
Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I, I should have played out the mountain there. I messed up. I mean, we know that we're not going to get to our pieces here anyway. Ah. Okay, no ultimatum. Wow, okay. Well, we can at least get these dumb cards off of the top of our library. It's another land. What the hell? I, I want to find a Dwarven Mine here. So let's go ahead and throw out Fable Passage. I think with how many lands we got, I mean, like, is it weird that we want another land here? I'm going to throw out Fable Passage because with how many lands we had, it's unlikely that we have another land off the top. Cracking and sacking. Um, will get us a little bit higher chance to get there. Have they not found their piece yet? Ridiculous. Did they not draw cards? Wouldn't you want to be trying to go for the music's mastery? Like, try to find that? So confused. Yeah, merchant ultimatum. Well, I tell you what. We got squat. Somehow, we still have nothing. I think we have one more mountain to grab here. That's the other awkward thing with this deck. Fable passages are in here because we have brainstorm. But we only have five basic lands. Guess what? How many basic lands we have here? So every one of our our fable passages from now on are completely dead cards. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. I think that it needs to be a two of, two or three of to help brainstorm be a little bit better. Ah. Well, no omniscience, I guess. Actually, what if they don't have anything here? Here are the brainstorm have omniscience now we can't let them have omniscience <laughs> tear the peaks tear the peaks <laughs> yeah <laughs> and another tear the peaks yeah oh they gotta find the other blade risen blade wing to do a little bit more damage yeah <laughs> That's legit. All right, that's cool. I like this combo. Oh, and they can go off with the combo here. They, they keep having Blade Risen, Blade Wing of the Risen. That's interesting. The com the trigger doesn't go off until after the sacrifice because Legend Rule cuts in like split second between everything. So interesting combo. All right, well, we drew terribly there. I think we would have had a pretty decent shot if we had drawn anything other than lands, but you know, nothing other than lands so that's that's that all right so it is literally nine o'clock right now which is the time i typically post this video and so i'm going to try to get this one out there really quick to you guys uh overall i still want to give you know my my thoughts on this one and i think this is a really powerful deck I, obviously it's really good uh we ran up against the mirror match a couple times the decks that we lost were just because it was dumb where is this one all right it's this one oh yeah right. four or two i was thinking three two but we did i did play a game beforehand and won it and it was a sweet game and i wish that i had been able to show that one but we went four wins in a row and then two losses so i mean the deck is powerful it's really good 66 print win rate i think that it'll definitely stay around there you know 66 the the other deck showed 69 percent with 118 wins 51 losses uh, I, I think this deck fits right around that that realm. Uh, playing best of three, I think, would be good. At the same time, though, what decks do shut off Villamachus? And I believe that Graft Diggers does. So Graft Diggers, Cage, Creatures, uh, players can't cast spells from Graveyards or Libraries. Does this exile the cards? Or does it just look at the top seven cards of the library, and then you can cast one of them? So Graft Diggers, Cage does stop us from stop people from casting spells from graveyards and libraries which i think also shuts down the Mega's mastery at the same time though we have prismari's command which destroys artifacts we have indomitable creativity which destroys artifacts we have all of the things that destroy artifacts and let's just go look for cards in, the, in our library or whatever that kind of stuff and so i believe sacrificing at the same time would cause the, the ability to happen it's so like we have all of the pieces that deal with graph figures cage as well and so i'm not sure that, that like i think that is the main card that people bring in against it and that's okay. You know, like it's it's fine. We can deal with it. We also just ramp up to uh, magma opuses, time warps, go crazy with things, and it, it's just a powerful. It's a powerful effect. It's cool stuff. We also do have you know a bunch of counter spells, ways to deal with things in here as well. Uh, and I don't know. It's interesting. Um, yeah. Overall, this deck is super powerful. I had a blast playing with it, and that is really the most important thing. Is that it's a super fun deck. And fun decks, fun. 
<laughs> all right see you guys in the next one thank you so much and have a good one like subscribe that's what i was trying to think of bye